Yo, what is going on everybody? It's your boy, Patman, and I am back again with another video. Uh, we're talking some Halo. Some cool news came out yesterday from 343 saying that we are going to get a Halo convention of sorts called Halo Outpost Discovery. I will link the description in the description to this website so you guys can check it out for yourselves if you want to or order your tickets if you plan on coming to one because I will be at one. So let's get into exactly what this whole thing offers and I'll tell you the prices of the tickets just so you guys are caught up in case you didn't know what was going on. So the experiences are the Hall of History, which is the like basically the main thing about this whole thing is basically like a museum of sorts, kind of like 343 has in Seattle. They have the Halo Museum there. I've always wanted to go, but obviously I'm not a big enough YouTuber or anything like that to be lucky enough to go to that uh, maybe one day y'all can help me get there um, but it's just a bunch of stuff about the halo universe sounds really cool it says that you might you know learn some new things even if you're a nerdy nerdy fan like I am or if you're new to halo like my my buddy's a, a halo fan that's coming with me but he's not like a huge fan like I am he hasn't read the books or anything like that so it should be pretty cool to learn some new stuff for him this seems really cool. This is the ring experience. Now, if you guys have ever been to like a science center and they have like those domes that you can look at the stars and the planets and stuff, that's what this looks like. But you're going to be able to tour like a halo ring and see the scope and scale of one of the installations, which sounds really cool. Um, then I'm not really that interested in this. I'll be honest with you guys. A covenant escape room. I'll try it though. You know, um, I'm down to try it. I'm going to be there. So I might as well try it. Um, just escape rooms don't seem to be my kind of thing. Now this is really cool, there will be Halo laser tag there, so if you guys are going to be at the one in Orlando, which is the one I will be at, I'm going to whoop your butt in some laser tag. So come challenge me if you see me there, say hi, let's talk. Um, I really want to get the channel out there and get some exposure. I'll be wearing a Patman Gaming t-shirt, and if you guys see me, come say hi. So uh, some Halo laser tag. And then we have the training grounds, which is a VR experience. Now, we had a Halo VR that I don't think anybody got to experience, except for, like, news outlets. I think it was, like, a couple of years ago, there was a Halo VR demo where Cortana was briefing you on a mission, and you would go, like, shoot, like, a gallery of aliens. You know, it wasn't nothing, like, crazy special. But um, hopefully this is more fleshed out than that, and we actually get to experience something cool. So I'm looking forward to that. Then there's, like, a Pelican simulation training uh, where you get a crew and stuff, and you're in the Pelican and trying to... You know, uh, you know, figure out how to do things and, and work as a squad. That sounds really cool. And I should also note that, like, in the Hall of History, there's going to be a life-size Warthog, so I look forward to... wish you could drive it, but <laughs> the gas that thing must cost. Um, I look forward to seeing that, though. Um, there seems to be some cool stuff. There's, like, a target range where you can practice and compete with each other on, uh, you know, shooting different targets and stuff, see how fast you guys can do, how many target your accuracy, stuff like that. There's like a Mega Constructs exhibit and, of course, your marketplace to buy stuff, blah, blah, blah. Let's go into the locations. Uh, there is only five locations, and they are all in the United States of America. Sorry, my friends across the pond. Sorry, my Canadian friends. Sorry. People in Mexico, you guys are SOL, and that sucks uh, because there are Halo fans worldwide. Uh, but I will be recording, looks like, Recording will be allowed at the event, so for anybody who can't make it, I got you covered. I will be recording some high-quality uh, vlog tape and taking you guys with me to experience it. So if you guys want to see that, go ahead and click that like button and subscribe for me so that you guys get notified when I do a video. You can click that bell notification so that you guys know when I upload. But I got you covered for all your Halo news. Um, and let's go over, like I said, the location. So first one is Orlando, Florida. Only reason I'm going to this one, um, I think Philly's a little bit closer to me. I actually live in North Carolina, so it's still quite a far drive, but um, I'm going to this one because I'm off of work that whole week. And so that works out for me. Uh, my work always shuts down every year, July 4th week, and I'll be off of work, so why not go to the convention? Next, we got Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Then we got Chicago, Illinois. Houston, Texas, and Anaheim, California. So hopefully you guys can make it to one of these locations. If you can make it to Orlando to come say hi to me, please do so. Let's see here. And then we will look at the ticket prices for you guys. 
So let's say we're going to Orlando. All right, so three-day VIP package is $320, or a one-day VIP ticket is $140. That's what I'm doing. I was going to do general admission at first, but my buddy talked me into doing the VIP because I am such a big Halo nerd. He's like, dude, you might as well go big if you're going to something like this. I was like, you're right. Um, and I will show you guys what is included in the VIP so you get entrance to the exhibit, thank God. Uh, enter one hour later or one hour earlier and stay one hour later than general admission, so that's cool. So I'll get some extra footage for you guys. You get a VIP gift pack, which includes a UNSC dog tag, exclusive Halo Outpost Discovery Funko Pop figure, and a drawstring bag. Exclusive VIP lounge access, which sounds very interesting, but they haven't detailed it, so keep an eye on that one. That'd be cool. Uh, three month of Game Pass, well, woohoo, and I already got Game Pass, so that doesn't really help me. And then I really don't care about Avatar costumes, but you get a couple of Avatar t-shirts. So that's what VIP includes. And then your general admission for a single day is $60 or for three days, $130. So the VIP is more than double that of the general admission, but hopefully it is worth it. Now, if you have a group of four, uh, four or more, you get a slight discount on tickets, so you can always do that. And they also said that there is going to be a bunch of panels to learn how to stream make your own halo armor even make video games so hopefully i get to see a couple of those and they're not spread out over the days uh, hopefully because i choose to go friday i'm not missing out on a panel i want to go to on a saturday or sunday and if i don't feel like i had enough time in the day to cover everything in this exhibit it's like 300,000 square feet so it's huge um, then i will probably get a, like a general admission ticket for the next day and go just so I can experience everything and record it for you guys. There will also be game stations. Now, this is where it gets interesting. There will be game stations, and they said there's about 200 of them to experience titles, Halo titles. They didn't really be specific. So there's rumors in the community, nothing, you know, obviously solid, that maybe Halo Infinite will be there. And if that is true, I will nerd out, and that would be awesome. They, if I can get footage of that, I will, but they probably won't let us take any footage. Who knows? Um... So hopefully, yeah, Halo Infinite there. That would be freaking amazing. So I am really pumped for this, guys. Like I said, I've always wanted to go to like a, a big nerdy convention, and Halo and Zelda are my two favorite games. So it's I don't know, it's gonna be awesome. I'm probably gonna geek out way too much and look like a complete fool, but who cares? You know, that's what these kind of events are for, is for us nerds. So. If you guys want to see that video, like I said, go ahead and click that subscribe button. If you guys aren't caught up on Halo Infinite, I'll link a card right up here right now um, to my video explaining all the newest details on Halo Infinite to get you guys caught up. And that's about it, guys. I got another video coming this weekend. I appreciate you guys coming around. Uh, leave a comment down below. Let me know if you guys are going to any of these locations. And if you're going to Orlando, definitely leave a comment down below. Um, Tell me a little bit about yourself and maybe we can meet up or something while we're in Orlando and, uh, you know, I get to meet with the community a little bit. So appreciate y'all watching. Leave a like for me. Subscribe, please. These videos take a long time to make. Please take a couple seconds out of your life just to leave me some love. Uh, we're almost to 100. All right. We're almost there. Six more to go. So let's make it happen, guys. All right. Appreciate it. Peace.